Are we as a military, as we are we as a nation, prepared to continue to take on this immense challenge around the world, whether it's in the Middle East, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in the Far East, whether it is the whole China piece, are we ready? And Ambassador, I'll start with you. Well, you know, you pose it as, do we have, which choice do we take? You know, do we take a choice of being engaged and, uh, and having these responsibilities and interests globally, or do we just dismiss those and sort of retrench, right? And, and I, I think it's a false choice. I mean, you cannot defend America from America's borders alone. Uh, you cannot promote American prosperity uh, with the domestic economy alone. We are so intertwined today that there's really no choice uh, but to protect our interests abroad. And we, we do that through a, a number of ways. I mean, we do it uh, on a case-by-case -case basis in conflict areas, uh, like support for Ukraine uh, or support for Israel today uh, and, and so forth. Uh, we do it bilaterally every day with 190-some embassies and so forth uh, around the world with military commands like the ones that uh, Jamie has commanded. Um, we do it multilaterally. Uh, and this often doesn't get enough attention. But we do it at the UN headquarters every single day, multilateral diplomacy. We do it every single day at NATO headquarters in Brussels, where now 31 allies are all under the same roof. 